This week, the Pan Am Torch has been making its way across Toronto before the Games officially open on Friday. A long journey for the flame. It was lit in Mexico. It's been touring the country since its arrival at the end of May. Now, that might sound like a long journey. It's got nothing, though, on the trip that Gustavo Martinez made from Mexico almost 60 years ago. In 1956, he and his brother left Mexico City on bicycle and traveled thousands of kilometers to Toronto. And tonight, his daughter... The singer Amanda Martinez will carry the Pan Am torch. She's with me in studio. Hello. Nice Hello. to see you. <laughs> Great to be here. Um, tell me, I want to get to the torch and, and what it means to carry the Pan Am torch in a moment. But tell me a little bit about, about your dad. We've talked about this before a little bit. But what did this journey mean to him? Why did he do this? You know what? Um, for him, for he and his brother, it was it was an adventure, really. Um, they got the idea from a Frenchman in Mexico that was getting a whole group of, of young people together to do this. And then the whole thing disbanded, but that's what planted the seed uh, for them. And they still wanted to do it on their own. So it was, it was really an adventure for them. And away they went. Away they went. <laughs> um, you've heard about this trip your whole life. Yes. Your cousin made a movie about it. Yes. What is it? In this story, I mean, it's an amazing story, even at, at, at first blush, two guys riding bicycles from Mexico City to Canada. But what is it that stood out to you the more that you've heard about this? Well, for me, um, to have that, that spark of something and to be able to um, follow truly a, a dream with not knowing, mm. you know, that uncertainty of, of where you're going to end up. And I mean, they, they had heard of Canada, Toronto, but they didn't really know it. Um, but they had this faith in themselves. And I'll always remember this um, letter. My, my dad and my uncle uh, kept a journal when they were on their trip. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember they they received a letter that they wrote about from um, uh, their mom and uh, my abuelita and she said you're going to see that um, with with determination of steel and, and heart uh, and a heart of gold anything is possible and I think they were just so brave to be able to go on that trip but I think like I can't even imagine when seeing that much ahead of me and, and knowing that, you know, eventually it took 82 days, but it, it seems so overwhelming. And I think we can all relate to challenges in our lives, but that just little step by step, the way athletes make their, their, their training journey as well, that you can't look and get overwhelmed by the whole, the whole uh, ride. How much did that trip change his life and the life of your family? Oh, it changed everything. Um, he, he uh, his brother eventually went back, but all of his uh, girls, my cousins, were born here. But for for my dad, he made his home here. Yeah. He ended up um, going back to school, becoming an engineer, opening up his own uh, lighting business, um, and uh, really, he's embraced Canada and everything. From <laughs> dragging me skiing since I was a little girl, he just he loves it here, and um, and he still you know loves Mexico too. But this has really become his home. What an incredible thing to think about. I mean, we hear these stories all the time that life changes in a moment because somebody makes a decision to do something that could be really difficult but your your life would have been completely different yeah I, I wouldn't have been here you would not have been here <laughs> no he met my my mom here who's from South Africa yeah. I mean only in Toronto right really? That's, it's, it's I mean it's one of those things it's incredible um what will you think about and that message that that um their mother wrote about what will you think about in in, in that light when you're involved in this torch relay tonight well, for me, I feel like I'm going to be um, really honoring not only my family, my uncle, and my and my father, but all those all those people who have come from all different parts of the world with the dream of starting their life in Canada, and um, and overcoming challenges and embracing this beautiful country that we live in and this city that I feel so lucky to live in. You put together a number of, of short pieces for CBC um, yes. that sort of highlight some of the great things that we have going on in the city. Well, I, I'm, I'm speaking with a number of different um, artisans, whether they are chefs, directors, uh, writers. Um, one story that stood out for me um, that's going to be performed during as part of Panamania yeah. is called uh, The Postman, and it brings to life uh, the story and the life of Albert Jackson, who was the first black postman. And uh, it's not going to be performed in a theater, but actually on the steps of or the different porches um, in Harvard Village where he actually lived. He owned houses there eventually and where he delivered the mail. So that's something that uh, stands out for me. Um, I also spent some time with uh, the amazing singer-songwriter uh, Ron Hawkins, mm -hmm. who has um, lived, grown up 
um, and been inspired by Kensington Market, which is one of my favorite places. Yeah. So um, that's another one. And also, uh, as a little girl, I always dreamed of being a ballerina, and I got the chance to uh, spend some time with Greta Hodgkinson from the National Ballet and speak to her about her piece that's going to be performed at Nathan Phillips Square. We've been talking to people about what we hope um, the visitors to the city will take away from Toronto. What do you hope that those who arrive here, whether they're competing, whether they're here covering the games, whether they're here watching the games, that they that they get about this city? I think uh, what I would love for them to get is that this is a city where we embrace the culture and the, all of the places that we come from and our heritage and that we, we have such a pride for our city and our country, but also for our heritage. And I think that's what brings such a richness and uh, diversity to our whole uh, city. Enjoy tonight. Thank you It'll so much. It'll be a lot much. of fun. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to see you. Amanda Martinez, Toronto singer, who will this evening carry the Pan Am torch and light the cauldron in Earl's Court Park. As I mentioned, she's also hosting a short series called Panamania. It focuses on arts and culture in Toronto. The series will air online and on CBC television during the Pan Am Games.